these days, I think the, um, the important terms are open, sharing, and innovation. So in an open source initiative, you can join. Anybody can join, actually. And also, um, you can share your contribution with the um, you know, participants of the project. With the Tizen scheme, every vendor or every software vendor, every operator has freedom to contribute, and freedom to create a new service by their own. It puts every member of the ecosystem on an equal footing where you can contribute as much as you want and you can have visibility of what is being done fully, not depending on what status you have in the organization. You can look backwards at what was popular last quarter or last year and try to emulate that and copy it, or you can look forward to where the industry is going, whether it be innovative experiences that people are creating, the integration of HTML5, it's not just about developing an app to a runtime and submitting it into a store. They really have the ability to create whatever it is that, that their Imagine can dream up, and Tizen is, a, is the foundation that they can land that on. Everybody can take the existing uh, common base and then uh, make differentiation on top of that. Uh, this will basically erase a lot of lock-ins. For example, the service lock-ins, the chip lock-ins. It creates an incentive for uh, any player that has something innovative to do, to be able to do it with no one barring them from doing that. We've targeted Tizen to be at the forefront of the HTML5 adoption. We are projecting Tizen, and, and early tests have proven that we're ahead in performance, we're ahead in features and adoption, we're ahead in, in capabilities. HTML5 is a wonderful cross-platform environment for developers that has struggled because its implementations have been lacking. Um, we believe Tizen will help accelerate that. HTML5 is a destination for the mobile industry, and we believe Tizen plays a very strong role in that by what we're bringing to market.